Hi everyone, my name is Pele Renata and welcome to my channel. As the weather is really nice here in Hungary, I got a bit inspired to make a summer project and I hope you will enjoy my process. For this project I decided to work in the stone paper art journal from Stamperia and I will start my project with doing some stenciling. My chosen stencil is from Ciao Bella and it's called Shells and Bubbles. Through this beautiful stencil I will apply the crafters workshop light and fluffy modeling paste. But I didn't uh, want to apply it all over the page, instead I was uh, sticking only towards the edges. This way it will give a sort of nice frame, but also it will pull the viewer's eye towards the focal images. After the structure paste was done, I wanted to give my page some more texture before applying the paint, so I decided to do some heat embossing. For that I chose one of uh, really old text stamps that I have, and I am not sure it's available for sale anymore, anyway I will look it up for you, and I will uh, heat emboss it uh, with uh, clear embossing powder. Many brands offer clear embossing powders, but the one which I chose to work with this time is from the Lindy Stamp Gang. Anyway, the effect that I made can't really be seen this way, but you will see it when I start applying the paint. Also, quick reminder, the full list of the product that I have used for this project can be found in the description box down below. Now, after heat embossing the powder, it was time to start coloring my page. But first, so the colors would blend uh, better, I sprayed the whole surface of my art journal with water. Since for a while I didn't do any art journal with sprays, I decided it was time to change that. And I went with Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. This first color which you saw me using is called T-Bird Turquoise. And the second one is called Ocean Breeze Blue. Later on I will introduce uh, one last color and it's called Sassy Sapphire, but in general I will just switch back and forth between these three colors, adding more layers to intensify the colors, and I will occasionally use my paintbrush as you can see, so I could uh, control better where my paints go. I must say I really love how these stone papers handle water and these liquid mediums. As you can see, after drying the initial layer of the paint, I wasn't satisfied with the intensity of my colors, so I just went back and repeated the whole process again. With, of course, adding a couple of paint splatters. Anyway, after the second layer of paint, I was really happy with my background, but I felt like my stencil work is not drawing enough attention. So one trick to fix that is to take a nail buff or a sanding block, and while holding it uh, horizontally as possible, go over your stencil pattern. That way you will remove some of the paint only from your stenciled areas. This way your stencil work won't be too bright and it will keep some of the color but it will stand out more. Now off camera I have uh, colored using alcohol markers these beautiful stamps from the pinking designs. But before I'd hear them I decided to add some more sea topic uh, stamps on my background. So I chose one of these old silhouette stamp set from Marian Design and the uh, dark denim, which is dark blue shade of ink, to add more interest to my background. If you are wondering why I didn't uh, stamp these fishes in the background using a black ink, it was because the colors of my backgrounds were really mild 
So I felt that stamping with the black ink would add too much contrast and it would look just too harsh. Now after the stamping was done I just had to add some splatters but as I didn't want to introduce any new colors I used the exactly same ink which I used for stamping. And as you will see very soon I will again use the exact same ink for darkening the edges of my art journal page. I think that using the same color over the multiple elements of your art journal page makes it all connect better and look more cohesive. Okay, so now it was time to add the quote and uh, since I decided to stamp it, I chose to use the help of the T ruler to align it better. Now, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, while I love the stamps which I chose for the stamping of the sentiment, I wasn't really perfectly satisfied with its size and I should have probably go with a little bit bigger, but it is as it is now. Anyway, it was time to adhere my elements and for that I was using Art by Marlene Sticky Multiglue. Now another Art by Marlene product that I'm going to use is a special effect glamour glitter in diamond color and I have applied it all over certain areas on my sea turtle but also on the stenciled area. While applying the glitter it looks uh, quite milky but when it's dried it is fully transparent and it looks really beautifully glittery. And you know what, I am just that type of crafter, when I don't know what to add, I always go for either glitter or splatters. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my project. Bye!